the attempt to identify fitness with racism. Quote, I saw my neighbor out for a jog. <laughs> Should I report him? <laughs> or wait till it escalates to push-ups? <laughs> Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. We have MSNBC saying that physical fitness, get this, is racist. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is up there with when the left said that milk was racist. <laughs> this is like, this might take the cake. This one comes from Blaze Media. It is written by Carlos Garcia. And it starts off saying, an MSNBC article was mocked mercilessly for asserting that physical fitness was the latest marker <laughs> to identify someone as possible white supremacist. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I'm crying. The article by this columnist pronounced that the latest scheme from white supremacist was to valorize violence and hyper masculinity on social media. Oh my God, this is too good. Well, she cites a study claiming that white supremacists are recruiting new members by promoting fitness and, and positive physical changes <laughs> before propagandizing them with white supremacist messaging. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is real news. This is real news. It took four sentences before the column identified physical fitness with Hitler and the Nazis. This is what it said. Physical fitness has always been central to the far right. In Mein Kampf, Hitler fixated on boxing and jujitsu, believing they could help him create an army of millions whose aggressive spirit and trained bodies combined with <laughs> fanatical love of the fatherland would do more for the German nation than any mediocre tactical weapons training. <laughs> she goes on to cite several examples of white supremacist groups using mixed martial art clubs to recruit members before concluding that opponents of racism need to understand their methods of recruitment. Critics of the progressive cable news network wasted little time in ridiculing and mocking the attempt to identify fitness with racism. Quote, I saw my neighbor out for a jog. <laughs> Should I report him? <laughs> or wait till it escalates to push ups? <laughs> oh, oh, God. This is the funniest thing I've seen all day. Quote, okay. Okay, guys, now you've done it. Now you've literally politicized something which should have been left alone. Good job, you morons. Seven time Mr. Olympia winner, Phil Hell, uh, Phil Heath. WTF, I did 10 push ups and now there's a swastika tattoo on my shoulder. <laughs> there's definitely something to this, in my opinion. The other day, I took a brisk hike at my local nature preserve, and before I knew it, I had invaded Poland. <laughs> this is so good. This is how dumb the left are. And it's sad because they're diminishing what real racism is and what real racists are. Racism and racists are evil. I think we can all agree with that. Uh, but the left will stop at nothing to call anybody and anything a racist. I thought that this was a hilarious article. I found it while I was editing the latest Bald Brad episode. With that being said, folks, I had to bring it to all of you before this night ends. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Share with your friends and family all over social media. And folks, I will see you tomorrow here on The Bald Brad Show.